Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial, so let's get cracking. Friends, this is the Tinkercad subreddit, and a cool question about creating horns. I've got an idea, let's see if it works. Alright, so I'm going to start by naming this, we're going to call it horns, that makes sense, easy to search later. We are going to start by searching for a shape I know of. It is called the corneum, I think, if we type corn it'll show up and bingo we can drop this in so if we zoom in you can see it already kind of looks like a ram's horn that's pretty cool I'm gonna hit D to drop and if we were making the horn that user wanted let's look at the properties here first I'm gonna make it a little more round so that'll be the base where this starts see how it was flat there and then that horn only went to here and then went the other direction. I'm going to shrink this down to the number of windings. That's the lowest because we only want pretty much three quarter of a winding and then go the other way. We can change the top radius. Once again, I'm going to type these numbers. So I'm going to make it a little thinner, 1.5 and press enter. Simply using guess and check. And then we do want to note the separation. See how that goes wide? Well, that user wanted theirs, it looked like, to be pretty straight. So right there, we've just made it so it's straight. All right, friends, so there's that corneum. And bingo, there's the horn that we're going to create. Let me show you how I did it. So I'll move that one across. This is just a duplicate, and I'm going to ungroup it. So then I wanted the straight edge for that to build up. I cut it here. And I also wanted a straight edge from this. I adjusted it to get the right angle I wanted for the exact horn I was creating. I'm going to fiddle with this and just twist it so you can see how it changes it. And then we grouped those three. These two holes cut it off. Now it's flat for building. And boom, we just need the horn to come up. We're going to find something cool for that. It is called the pineapple. There is also a new banana, but I like the pineapple. I do want to warn you. If this hasn't loaded yet, you won't be able to drag it out. It took me three clicks. Now, when this arrives, the first thing we're going to do is adjust the curvature to what you want. Notice it's curving in the wrong direction, so we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then, of course, we're going to cut this off. You can adjust these. Notice the asymmetrical pushes it in different directions. Once again, I don't need this horn. I'm just having fun creating it. If you need it, you can be way more precise. Then I came out here. I'm going to just delete the one that I just built. And do Control D so that I can bring this back. When we ungroup this, you'll see I just cut it off at the point where it's going to sweep up like that horn is. Grab the two. Control G to group. Now we want to put it right there. Super simple, work plane, click, D for drop. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground, select the two, choose L for line. Let's use this one as the master. There's the middle. And then you can see I've already got it lined up pretty close. Let's do F to fit view. Let's switch our nudge to point 0.1 so you're doing little finite measurements. And you can see I need to stretch it up just a tiny bit over just a tiny bit. If you make a mistake, do control Z. If you don't like what you did, you can cancel it out. There you have it, a Tinkercad horn. It is not perfect, but at least you can see how you can create one. Stay tuned, I'll see if I can create something in Mesh Mixer that even shows you how to smooth it out. Friends, as I wrap up, I just want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. And then below that, you can find my day one favorites and also useful starters. And then finally, the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, also at the bottom corner, I want to share the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, don't forget 
forget the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.